Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, had a little break because we were away on holiday for two weeks, but very exciting stuff. Today is the day that our sofa is finally <laughs> gonna be arriving. So, you guys have been asking me questions for an update on the sofa, and I've obviously been wanting to give one, but we have not had it yet. So, long story short, basically, we had an IKEA sofa, we had it for five months, and it broke, it was manufacturer's fault, but the guy who came and did a survey on it said that the particular sofa we chose from Ikea wasn't like the best quality anyway. So we went back to the drawing board, I found a sofa that I loved, order it, said it was arrive, would arrive in four weeks. So we were without a sofa, so I was like, I'll wait four weeks, that's, that's fine, no problem. Got a call about three weeks after ordering saying that there was an issue with the fabric, that they didn't have it in, and that Basically, I could choose a different fabric and have it on time, but obviously I didn't want to do that because I chose that fabric for a reason. So we stuck to it. They said it'd be another four weeks. Two months down the line, I didn't have an update. I phoned them and they were like, oh, it's been delayed again. So like long story short, it got delayed three months and honestly, like the communication was just really shocking. So it's been really frustrating. Um, and annoyingly, they emailed and said, oh, you can book a delivery slot now, it's ready whilst we were on holiday, <laughs> the beginning of our two week holiday. So we've had to wait obviously until we get back um, and it's arriving today. So we got back on Thursday, today is Saturday and yeah, it's gonna be arriving soon-ish. So it's arriving between 9.15 and 11.15. It's currently 8.20. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you what we've been working with <laughs> whilst we haven't had a sofa, um, but basically I need to clear all this stuff out of here so that they have room to actually put the sofa. So this is how we've been living for the last, oh, it's been like f like four months, I think. Oh, I am so, so ready to get a sofa back. So we've literally just been like sitting on chairs and stuff. I've got all my prints ready there. So basically I'm just gonna move absolutely everything out of the way. I've also got this rug here just to stop my office chair scuffing the floor. Um, obviously that's in here because we haven't done the guest bedroom yet, which is where that will live. But basically I'm just gonna kind of move absolutely everything out of the way so it's kind of a blank canvas for them to come bring the sofa in i paid well you have to pay 99 pounds for delivery but they come and actually properly install it and everything so it's not like ikea where you have to make it yourself so i'm just gonna make sure it's all out of the way and then i'm probably gonna give it a super quick clean um and just make sure it's nice and fresh for them to put the sofa in <laughs> Okay, we are fresh, we're clean, we're ready for the new safe, aren't we boys? The rest of the house is an absolute tip. But yeah, I've just put everything over here for now. Um, so I think they'll probably bring it round through the kitchen and yeah, loads of room for them to install it. Look what we 
we got you my nose. <laughs> Ooh, you too worried about the delivery men? Go on, Rocky, up. Oop. Oh my gosh. This is a bite. Come to me. Milo. That's enough. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me. Get next to me. All that I want is to get next to you. Get next to you. Not asking for much, but it's like the two of us are gold and the gold. Just see what do you get so take <sighs> It's finally here. Okay, so this is our new sofa. We have gone for the Sofa Club Soho Sofa. I believe this is the colour Afternoon Tea. So, I said this before, but I spent so long trying to decide what kind of sofa I wanted. I found it very, very difficult. We did originally want a modular one, but we couldn't find exactly what I wanted that was in our price range. So, this was like a pretty good compromise. So, this is a three slash four seater kind of L shades sofa. It's not modular. That's the only thing we really compromised on. But there's a few different reasons why I decided to go for this. First one being the color. So I've said this before, I was looking for like the really perfect kind of grayish color. I didn't want anything too beigey and warm, but I didn't want anything too cold and gray. And honestly, I feel like this is the perfect neutral color. It's kind of timeless, it will go with loads of stuff. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, another thing is like the texture of the fabric. So it's kind of like a faux um, linen fabric. It kind of looks like it has the texture of linen, but it's super, super soft. It's a lot softer than linen. And I believe it's like more durable than linen as well. And then another reason is just the overall shape. So I love the square arms. I also love all of this kind of, I don't know what you call it, but this kind of trim detail, which is on the edge of the arms. Um, it's on the edge of these little scatter cushions, which came free with the sofa as well. Um, yeah, absolutely perfect. And I know this is something that's quite controversial when I was speaking about sofas before, but it's quite a nice low profile sofa. So it's a little bit lower down than previous sofas that we've had. We really like that. We like having cuddles on the sofa with the dogs and stuff. It's easy for them to jump up. And I just think it looks it's just really nice it's the same sort of level as a coffee table but a lot of the kind of low profile sofas i was looking at the backs were super low on them what's good about this is it does have a low back but it has these really nice big plush kind of cushions um on the back of it as well because some of those kind of more kind of boxy sofas don't have big plump cushions on the back which is something that i was a little bit worried about so it's really, really nice and comfortable. So far, we're really happy with the quality. Like it feels really good quality. It's exactly what I was kind of expecting. Um, so it's definitely been worth the wait. The delivery team was like really nice, just came in, got it done, um, which was great. But yeah, the communication prior to it arriving was honestly really, really shocking. And obviously we were really disappointed with how many delays that we had, which we were just not, we were not expecting it obviously. Um, but worth the wait absolutely amazing there's quite a few different things that we are going to be changing to the lounge i think the lounge is probably one of the first rooms that we started kind of decorating we kind of did it alongside the dining room but curtains are going to change i know i got these new curtains but the color is just so wrong they're really really like yellowy and i don't like that so the car the rug's going to change the curtains are going to change we're keeping our lovely DIY coffee table. Um, obviously, we're going to be putting prints on this back wall as well. And I'm also going to be making some changes to the fireplace because I'm not 100% happy with how that's looking. So we do have quite a lot that's going to be changing in this room. And now the sofa's here, I can start cracking on with that, which is perfect. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed because loads is going to be happening soon. And also, we are going to be decorating for Christmas as well but yeah if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel um let me know what your thoughts are on the sofa i will try and link it down below I believe it was 999 pounds i think but it is currently in the black friday sale um i think it's 50 pounds off at the moment and the delivery was like 99 pounds on top of that so yeah i will catch you guys 
in the next one.